Thanks for joining us with this Athlon Outdoors exclusive interview with Hunter Kale. Uh, I think one of the more positive examples of just resilience within, you know, shooting sports culture and firearms within America. So thanks for coming in. Absolutely. To us thanks for having me here. It's yeah. a pleasure. So how did exactly did you get into firearms? Um, like I've said, it's basically um, I've tried just about every sport out there just because I want to show that I can. Mm -hmm. um, I used to play a lot of video games and stuff like that, almost went professional with that stuff, and then friends moved off to college, started splitting up, and got bored of playing that stuff by myself. So I was like, I want to actually go shoot some guns and stuff, you know. So uh, when go from got, Call of Duty yeah, exactly, to exactly, <laughs> exactly. So I got them, and you know, it's just one of those guys at a range of just hammering away, not hitting anything, just wasting ammo basically. And I was like, you know, I don't want to do that either. So I've always been competitive just about everything I mm -hmm. do, so I found competitive shooting, uh, went and shot it, and here I am now. <laughs> I think that, well, competitive shooting is a big component for, I think, a lot of uh, the more modern shooters we're seeing mm -hmm. where we don't like to stay static behind the benches, Absolutely. you know, we got to get out there and, you know, run and gun. So, like, Absolutely. what are, you know, some of the better ways that you find that you can just maximize your training time when you're um, out there? In all honesty, uh, when we train, it's not as like high speed as you would think. Um, most times you're not like running down shooting stuff or anything like that. It's actually a lot of static shooting um, as far as like transition skills and transitioning firearms and long range practice and long range pistol and stuff like that and loading, just practicing reloads, simple stuff like that. But um, the one awesome thing about competitive shooting is it three gun, mation, or three -gun matches or mm -hmm. USPSA matches or all those sh different shooting events nothing is the same. It's not like steel challenge or like F class where you shoot a mile every time or something like that. It's every single scenario is different. There will not be a single stage that is the same course design or anything like that. So that's what really makes this sport mm -hmm. awesome and just changes everything up because you can't practice one single thing over and over and over and over and then be the best. Like you have guys like at the top of the pistol world like Max Michelle or Casey Usabo they do that steel challenge where it's the same five targets over and over and they shoot those 15, 20,000 times in two weeks until they do it to where they can do it with their eyes closed. Mm -hmm. And with this sport, it's just totally different. So you have, to try, you have to train for so many different things that it's just nonstop. You never, ma you never truly master this sport. Mm -hmm. It's impossible. Yeah, I, I think that's definitely something that's overlooked with regards to the uh, specifics with training and you know, mm -hmm. just the different classes is, yeah. you know, some guys love to run and shoot like a speed gun match, but you know, if you focus too much on that, you might lose like a lot of your accuracy fundamentals. And some guys exactly. might look, look at like a steel challenge and be like, well, that's just boring. Like, no, it's, it, it's difficult if you're, you know, really applying yourself. <laughs> Absolutely. So, you know, you have to stay versed in all the different disciplines. If you had to just narrow it down to like, all right, man, I'm, I want to focus on USPSA or, you know, I want to focus on three gun. Like, what do you mm -hmm. think you would uh, narrow in on? Three gun. Three gun, all, all Absolutely. I mean, it's just, it's so much more of a adrenaline rush to me as mm -hmm. far as uh, when I go to the, the USPSA match, I mean, it's one gun, one thing's going on. It's, it's like simple to me, if that makes sense. Like mm -hmm. since I started out with three gun and I've got three bags, I've got three different guns, I've got three types of ammo, I've got all these different things that I've got to worry about and having to worry about all that stuff in this giant stage that could be up to three minutes, four minutes a stage where you've got to run almost a mile doing all kinds of things, mm -hmm. or just to a simple base stage where you've still got all three guns, but you're gonna shoot it in 15 seconds. Mm -hmm. um, whereas the USPSA stage, you have one gun. I'm like, hmm, what is this? This is, this is <laughs> nothing, all right, wow, well, okay, done. It's just simple. Um, so three gun is, I like to be complicated. I like complicated things, so three guns yeah. definitely. And, it's definitely it. It's, a, it's definitely more of a thinking man's game where, oh. kind of like you said, with uh, depending on where you go for your USPSA match, mm -hmm. you know, everyone looks like a rock star until they get to that <laughs> stage with the plate rack at 25 yards yep. and you get to see, you know, the, uh, the time separation. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah that, that's definitely, I think, more of a thinking man's game. Mm -hmm. You know, have you ever had to just be, like, completely innovative with how you attack those stages? Oh, yeah. Just, so that, that's, that, that's what uh, my team captain, Greg Jordan, um, he is one of those guys that's so methodical in what he does. Like I could go through on a stage and crush the top stage time by like 10 seconds and mm -hmm. then he comes out there and beats me by 10 seconds on the stage because he's like, well, you took like four extra steps over there. So that kind of lost time, blah, 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 blah. Simple things like that. Mm -hmm. that we're, all, we're what we call gamers 
Like a lot of people, it matches when you hear people talking as like, oh, he's trying to game it, which is simple stuff that people don't necessarily think about. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, you're always trying to find an advantage on something or not necessarily play the rules or whatever or try and game the rules, but you're always looking for an advantage that another guy didn't think of necessarily. Yeah, so it might save you seconds. Absolutely. So. It's interesting when you see the, uh, the uh, stage walk train start to form at the beginning <laughs> and everyone's, everyone's going through and air gunning their motions yep. and dipping their head around. Yep. So it's, uh, it's definitely a thinking man's game. So for 2017, just going forward with uh, competition and just you know your uh, 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 commitment with firearms, like mm -hmm. what do you got on the calendar for this um, year? I've got several different things on the calendar this year. Uh, last year, I mainly shot nothing but three gun. Mm -hmm. um, this year, uh, I'm getting involved more with Strategic Arms Corp as far as like surgeon rifles mm -hmm. and AWC and stuff like that. So I'll be uh, doing some of the new gas gun series PRS stuff, which is Still, I'll be shooting an AR-15, mm -hmm. but it's gonna have 18-inch barrel and it's shooting basically a PRS match. I don't know if you know what that is, yeah, yeah. but it's just long range rifle, basically. Um, so I'll shoot maybe two or three of those matches, maybe one or two of the bolt gun matches, but mostly I'll be shooting three gun again because that's my pride and joy. I like to swap it over every once in a while, you know, just change it up a little bit, but mainly three gun. I'll also be going to Russia this year for the uh, world first world IPSC rifle match. So it's a uh, Last year I went to Italy for the World Ipsic Shotgun match, mm -hmm. placed really well in that, beat everyone but one person on the U.S. team out of everybody, out of the 50 people from the U.S. that went, I was it's like impressive. number two, so the first time ever, I, that was awesome, and uh, it was a great experience, so Russia has decided to host the first annual rifle event, so I'm going to definitely go to that because it was such a great experience last year. Well, shotgun, so. I'm sure you'll uh, do a good job representing us, especially with the, uh, you know, geographic or the, <laughs> the political tensions <laughs> oh, currently yeah. taking place between the two oh, countries. Yeah. But that, that's awesome that that is, you know, uh, competitive shooting is something that can actually bring people together across cultures where you find common ground mm -hmm. and, you know, just the uh, admiration for the sport. Mm -hmm. So what kind of advice would you give to, you know, uh, a kid watching this right now who you know, doesn't think that, you know, hey, I can do something because maybe I have like a disability or mm -hmm. whatever. Like, no, you can power through that. What kind of advice would you give them with just going and pursuing what they want to do? There's, there's always a way. Um, I mean, when I think of a challenge or somebody that says I can't do something, then in my mental aspect, then I've obviously got to do it. Um, so there's no really limitations to what someone can do it's all a mindset. If you don't think you can do it, or if you have set yourself down for failure where you're not gonna be able to achieve it, then you never will. But if you just keep pushing at it no matter what it is, then you can do anything. I mean, I'm two and a half years into a shooting career with no hands, and I'm keeping up with the best pistol shooters in the world with a pistol, and some of the best three gunners in the world with all three guns, so it's, that's something that somebody would say would be impossible, mm -hmm. but if you put your mind to it, you can achieve it. 100,000 rounds a year, and there you go. <laughs> there you have it, guys. No excuses. You gotta have the fire to pursue what you want, and I think Hunter is a living example of you know what you can accomplish with grit and determination. I yes, appreciate sir. you coming out. Absolutely, some time buddy. I appreciate it. Uh, Thanks thank for you. having me.